Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to discuss about the same thing that is session initiation protocol and in which I'm gonna discuss about these response codes one by one. Like uh, in this particular lecture, which I'm gonna discuss is 1xx, that is provisional responses. And in the upcoming lecture, I'm gonna discuss about the 2xx and 3xx redirection responses in one lecture. Then I'm gonna discuss about 4xx request failure responses. This will be divided into three parts because we have uh, so many 4xx uh, failure responses, almost around 25 to 30 responses, which we need to discuss in 4xx. That's why I will um, divide this particular 4xx response code into three parts. Then we have these two things, 5xx server failure and the global failure, that too I'll combine in the, in one video, right? So today I'm gonna discuss about this main thing that is 1xx provisional responses. We usually uh, call it as informational responses as well, right? What that means is uh, your server, that is your user agent server who received this particular request, let's say, uh, any server who received an invite request, right? It needs to be uh, respond with something, right? Who received any request is performing some further action and it doesn't have a definitive response. Then we will send this particular 1xx responses. So 1xx contains, there are so many, so many things like 100 trying, 180 ringing. We will be uh, discussing about this one, one by one. So let me open my, uh, uh, I guess let me open my whiteboard and then I'll discuss about these one by one, right? So here you will be able to see uh, we have, that is what we are going to discuss is one XX. That is, uh, we can say provisional, uh, provisional responses, right? So under this one XX, we will be having the first one we are going to discuss about is 100 trying. Right, and after 100 trying, we have uh, 180 ringing as well, right? These are a part of 1xx, provisional responses. And after that, we have 181 as well, where uh, what we call it as call is being forwarded something, right? That is 181. Then after that, we will be discussing about 182 queued. And then last we will be having 183 session progress, like, right? So these all five I'm gonna discuss today in this particular lecture, right? So before starting 100 trying, I hope everybody knows about 1xx provisional responses, why we are getting that, uh, like under 1xx we have multiples, but why we are getting this 1xx? Because as soon as we send something like, let's say I have sent an invite request, I should get something from you until the final response, because if I do not receive anything uh, from the server, then I will be, I would be thinking like my request is not reached at that particular server, then I will send a re-invite, right? I will send an invite again, right? That is why we need these provisional responses, right? So in this one, uh, usually a server will send one XX response if it expects to take more than, we can say more than 200 millisecond to obtain a final response right before we can say 200 milliseconds until the final response right so if we know that that it will be taking more than 200 milliseconds then usually we send this uh, 1xx provisional responses right provisional yes provisional responses right so another thing here we need to uh note that these 1xx provisional responses are not transmitted reliably, right? These are not transmitted reliably. And these provisional responses, you are having 100 trying, 180 ringing, 181, 182, or 183. These may contain SDP messages as well, right? This may contain SDP messages as well. 
So the best example for this SDP message, uh, we can say we have 183 session progress, or sometimes we are having uh, SDP messages in 100 trying, uh, sorry, 180 ringing as well, right? Another thing here we can discuss about this 1xx is that is PRAC. This is actually provisional acknowledgement, right? Provisional acknowledgement. Okay. So what is this PRAC? As soon as we send 100 trying, if we need a response from the client side, then usually we send then usually we require this PRAC message from the user agent client. As soon as I, let's say I send an invite, I send a, a request to the user agent server. The server will respond with a hundred trying or 180 ringing or 181 or 182 or 183, anything. Then if server says I need a PRAC message that is provisional acknowledgement, right? So for that, I need to make changes in my, uh, I can say the maybe gateway configuration, you can say PRAC enable, right? Or uh, on the call manager, we have that rel 1xx options. We need to enable that. By default, it is disabled. But in that rel 1xx, that is actually in uh, SIP security, SIP trunk security profile, right? So there, what you need to do, there are three options, right? Let me just write it down here so that maybe you can uh write it down so rel 1xx it contains first one is disabled option right after disable uh we have something 1xx contains sdp this is another option and the third third option is uh uh i believe something like enable for all 1xx messages right first one you will be able to see the disable that is that means PRAC is disabled. Another one you will be able to see one XX contains SDP. Third one it will say maybe for all one XX messages or enable for all one XX messages like this. You will be able to see these three options. If you enable this rel one XX, let's say one XX contains SDP. So as soon as you are getting a response, hundred trying one eighty or one eighty one, one eighty two, one eighty three, anything. If it contains SDP, then user agent client will send you a provisional acknowledgement as well, right? That is the main purpose of this PRAC actually, right? So now let's discuss about this uh, 100 trying, 180 ringing one by one. So first step is first provisional uh, response I can say is 100 trying, right? So what is 100 trying? As soon as we send an invite 100 trying, uh, we will receive the 100 trying from the server, right? So what this means is it indicates that the request has been received by the next hop server, I can say. And this response, likely all other provisional responses, it will stop retransmission of an invite by user agent client. That is what I already communicated to you earlier, right? As soon as we get 100 trying, it will stop all the retransmission of an invite by user agent client. Mainly, we can say stops retransmission of an invite by user agent client. That is the main purpose for this one. That is 100 trying, right? Okay, maybe I can just chain out that. Blue is good. Okay, so. That is the purpose of main 100 trying, right? After that, after this 100 trying, after this 100 trying, we have 180 ringing, correct? So what this 180 ringing means, right? 180 ringing, let's say as soon as you send an invite, there will be an 100 trying from the user agent server. That means it received the request. That means maybe it is sending an invite to other server, other proxy server and all, but then it will send the 180 ringing as well, right? So what this 180 ringing means that user agent receiving the invite is trying to alert the user, right? This 180 ringing means it's trying to alert the user mainly, correct? And this response is mainly used to initiate this response is mainly used oh wait okay this response is mainly used 
to initiate local ring back as well right as soon as you get this and uh, you get this particular message 180 ringing that means you need to initiate that local ring back 180 ringing that means whoever sends the request should initiate a ring back tone on the caller's voice right on i can say on the cradle uh, whatever you maybe if you are on headset if you are on like on the receiver you should hear a local ring back tone why am i saying local ring back tone because that ringing is coming from that particular local device if you are on a if you are using a physical device then that particular ringing is coming from the local device itself it's not coming from the uh, i can say the, from the remote party no right that is coming from the local device correct after that, we have one thing that is 181 call is being forwarded. What that means, 181 call is being forwarded, that means a server may use this status, that call is being forwarded. Server will use this status code to indicate that call is being forwarded to, uh, we can say, different set of destinations. Right. So if the call is being forwarded to a different set of destinations, that means you will get this particular message. 181 call is being forwarded. Correct. After that, we have 182 queued. What this 182 queued means? It means your uh, call party mainly is unavailable. Right. 182 queued is call party is unavailable right or we can say uh, I, I can't say directly that is unavailable we can say called party is temporarily unavailable correct so in this case i can't say directly right so this is like permanently unavailable no we can say called party is temporarily unavailable that is why it says 182 queued message right but Whenever I'm saying like call part is temporarily unavailable, but your server has decided to queue the call. That is why you receive this message. That is, you will be receiving this message 182 queued, right? Call part is temporarily unavailable, but the server has already decided itself to queue the call rather than reject it. If server wants to reject it, it can. But as of now, server already decided to queue the call instead of rejecting it right and once it queues the call that means whenever that particular server is available or i can say whenever that uh call becomes available server becomes available anything whenever it becomes available it will return the appropriate final status of that particular thing right and most probably uh in the reason phrase you will be able to see uh, it will give further details about that particular status of the call. Maybe I can say uh, for an example, if we take an example here, let's say five calls are queued, right? Five calls are queued, right? And expected, uh, we can say waiting time is 15 minutes, right? Expected waiting time, 15 minutes, so call. Uh, the example is five calls are in queue. Expected waiting time is 15 minutes. So yes, at that particular point of time, your server may issue several 182 queued responses to update the caller about the status of queued calls. Right, this was just like an example why it shows temporarily unavailable. Correct? Five calls queued, waiting time 15 minutes. You then at that point of time, server will issue several 182 queued responses to update the caller about the status of queued calls. Like now waiting time is 10 minutes, five minutes, two minutes, like this, right? After that, uh, we have 183 session progress. So this 183 session progress is mainly used to, uh, I can say, uh, to convey information about the progress of the call, right? Because it says session progress, as usually the name indicates, session is in progress. 183 session progress, it will usually convey information about the progress of the call. And the reason phrase, I can say, or the message body, whatever is coming. Reason phrase or message body may be used 
to convey more details about call progress. What is that reason phrase or what is that uh, message body I'm talking about? So usually you will get this uh, 183 session progress. It will contain SDP messages as well, which contains more details. What that more details is like SDP message will contain the media, the port number, the codec details and all other things. Right. The best example for this 183 session progress is your caller tune, I can say. Right. As soon as you make a call from your, let's say you are making a call from your cell phone. Right. As soon as uh, you dial the number, instead of hearing a local ring back, you hear uh, music. Right. Maybe, maybe a song. That means there is a session progress is going on and that song is the media that media will be in your this SDP, right? And that SDP, you will get it under this 183 session progress. That is the best example for this one, 183 session progress, right? Because it contains SDP messages, SDP contains the media, and that media, I know media, that would be like audio call, video call, port number, correct details, everything you will get under this SDP messages itself. Right. So this is what all about this one XX messages or I can say provisional uh, responses or provisional response codes in this particular session. Right. In the upcoming session, I'm going to discuss about the two XX and three XX in one one lecture that is successful responses. That is our two XX and then we will be having redirection responses. Right. So I hope you really like this video. So if you really like it, then please hit like, share and subscribe my channel, right? So that you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.